What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another epic game LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So guys, we've been doing uh, quite a few mods at a time here and uh, you know, trust me guys, I've tested these mods. They all work. I've had a couple comments about, well my mods ain't working. They're not doing this. It's not doing that. Guys, just watch the entire video i really have this is what i highly recommend you guys do watch the entire video before attempting to make any to met to before attempting to say that your game is crashing okay watch the entire video watch the installation um you know and also guys if you're having any if you do have any problems out of these uh mods or your game in general click the discord link in the description and it tells you right there that click the Discord link for LSPFR support and my support team will be more than happy, guys. I have a great support team that is willing and waiting to help you out with your game issue. They can figure out, no matter what it is, guys, they can help you get it figured out, okay? Um, because I'm, it's getting to where for me, guys, I don't have the time to help each and every individual person with your game issues. I have to focus more on content and getting these videos out for you guys. So, with that being said, guys, click the link in the description below. Uh, for my Discord to get your LSPFR support and GTA 5 support. Because you, you'll you get it done a lot faster like that, guys, than, you know, instead of trying to contact me for it. Um, so, guys, today we're going to be installing ALPR Lite, Better Dispatch Audio, Body Cam, Stop the Ped, and Ultimate Questions for Stop the Ped, okay? So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do as we always do and click that first link down there. It's going to bring us to the ALPR Lite page. Bajojo, of course, my favorite monitor. This is going to be version 1.524. We're going to scroll down, and we are going to click right here on the main download link. And guys, keep in mind, this is for the Epic game version of GTA 5, okay? It's not It's not for the Steam version. It's for Epic game version. All right. Now, we are going to download this real quick. And it uh, looks like it's in the right folder for me. So I'm going to click, um, I'm going to click OK, even though I already have it downloaded. Click OK. And it's going to initialize, and it's going to uh, load this in. Now, if you don't have an, um, a profile on one of these, if you guys happen to come across this, this is the uh, Megasync downloader, which requires you to download bigger files. Uh, you might have to, um, you know, create a profile for it. But once it's done, it will tell you completed right here. And you just open the containing folder where you placed your um, where you placed your file at, and see right there it is, guys. Right there it is, but I've already got it on my desktop, so I don't need to do all that. So we're going to go out of this. Go to the next link, guys. going to be Better Dispatch Audio. Now, this is going to put a lot more realistic um, dispatch into your game, which I highly recommend this mod. It's really cool. I really dig it. Let's scroll down. This is going to be version 6.0. Let's scroll down, and we are going to click right here on Download This File. You're going to want the bottom one that says Main File. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the content so far this week, the live streams, the, the tutorials. I'm going to try to get out a uh, episode for you guys this week of LSPFR, some kind, maybe a bounty hunter, or something like that, maybe a firefighter. What do you want to do with better dispatch audio, guys? You can click save here to put in your downloads folder, or click save as and put it where you like. Some of these files will not require the uh, mega sync because they're not as large. Now let's go on to the next one. I'm going to do the body cam. It's going to be 2.2.1.1, guys. We're going to scroll down. It's exactly what it is, guys, what it says it is. And I'll show you how to manipulate all this in your in your file and everything, okay? Now, so we're going to scroll down and click Download This File. You are going to click Agree and Download. And we're going to click on the main file right there, Body Cam. And wait for it to come in. I hope you guys are having a great week so far, and you guys are happy when you want to be in life, and you're staying consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. It's always good to do that, guys. Again, guys, click Save to put in your downloads folder or click Save As to put it where you'd like. And moving on to the next one, Stop the Ped. Everybody's been asking about this one. Stop the Ped. Uh, this is going to be version 4919. But Joe Joe again, of course, we're going to scroll down. We are going to click the main download link right here. All right, again, this is going to be a large file, so it's going to take you into either uh, this Mega Sync or it's going to take you to uh, Mediafire. So one of the two. Um, so we're going to click download. You're going to click the destination where you want to put. I always put mine in my plugins, my LSPFR plugins. And then, of course, you click the open containing folder. 
and right there is your stop the pit right there okay so moving on to very last but certainly not least ultimate questions for stop the pit now what this does guys this adds more questions to your stop the pit menu it adds more reality to it this is done by sirius 313 so big shout out to you bro uh for your creativity and your time in the lspfr community man we really do appreciate you and uh sirius 313 actually commented on one of my videos a while back telling me that he appreciated me using his questions and hey man it's no problem, brother. I love using your questions. They're really awesome. I love them. I think I've seen you around the... Um, I think I've seen you around the Bajojo Discord a couple times. Um, but let's click download this file right here. And we are going to quick clip... We're going to quick... We're going to click the version 1.2.0. I believe that's the one. You can always scroll back up and double check right here. So click that bottom one right there for 120. All right. And let's scroll. Yeah, we gotta just gotta stay right here. And again, guys, you can click save to bring down those folder, or click save as and put it where you like. So now that we got all of our files downloaded, let's go ahead and close out. And you're going to need your GTA 5 main directory. Okay, for those of you that do not know how to locate that, I will leave a link in the description below showing you how to locate your GTA 5 main directory for Epic Games. All right, so let's pull that up, guys. Let's go ahead and double click on our ALPR light. I can get it to pull up. There we go. Double click on the LPR light. And then grab this plugins folder right here, guys, and just pull it in your main directory and drop it just like that, okay? Get rid of your um, WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut. And we're going to do this one at a time, okay? And what I mean by that is we're going to go into the plugins folder, double click on plugins, go to LSPFR, and double click on ALPR light configuration settings or the INI file right there. Now, right here, guys. I do suggest changing this from F8 to F7 because I'm going to be showing you guys how to install install skin control as well. And that's also set to F8 by default, which cannot be changed. So I would suggest you guys change this to F7. Remember me telling you guys that if you change all your controls exactly the way I have mine, the way I'm showing you, your your um, your mods will never clash with each other. No matter if it's on controller or on keyboard, they will never, ever clash, okay? I promise you. So change that to F7, guys. Everything else is set the way you want, unless you just want to go down here and mess with it a little bit. Completely up to you. Um, so let's go ahead and click File and click Save. Close out of that. And then go back to the main directory. All right. And the next thing we want to do is pull up our better dispatch audio. All right. Double click on that. LSPDFR. Audio. Scanner. And then what we're going to do is you're going to go over here to your LSPFR main, your your GTA 5 main directory and double click on LSPDFR, audio, scanner. Now, if you will notice, we have a traffic policer, resident, and crimes. If you will look down here, you will see all three of those files in here. Right here is your crimes file. Okay. And then right here is your resident. And right here is your traffic police. So that's going to replace those guys, okay? But don't worry. It's not going to mess up your game. It's just going to give you better dispatch audio, more realistic, okay? We're going to grab all three of these files right here. Now, pay attention when I do this, guys, because when you pull them in, you want to drop them about right in here. You don't want to pull them over where it's highlighting a photo or anything like that because it will mess everything up. Pull it over here in the white area where nothing's highlighted and just drop it like that, okay? It's going to ask you to replace the 59 files. Go ahead and replace them, all right? Better dispatch audio is installed. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of the shortcut. And back to the main directory we go. Next, we're going to pull up the body cam. Okay, guys. Pull up the body cam. Double click on body cam. Grand Theft Auto 5. Grab this plugin so right here, guys. Pull it into your main directory and drop it just like that. Okay. Delete the body cam winner. Go into your body cam. Go to plugins. Ellis, I'm sorry, right here. Body cam right here, configuration setting. Go ahead and open that up. Now I'm going to show you guys something. Now, the activation key to turn this on is the, the zero on the numpad right here. See that, guys? This is where I'm at right here, manual key. All right? Um, this is your time between the beeps of the, of, the, uh, of the body cam because that's what a body cam does. It beeps. And then um, right here, guys, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Let's see. It may not... Okay, so right here, so custom year, custom month, custom day. So each day you play this, let's say, for example, today is June. 
Today is June 11th, okay? <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Today is June 11th. So example, I, for, for example, for the month, I would put six. And then for the custom day, I would put 11. And for the custom year, I would put 2020. Okay? And you can do this each time you play LSPFR. And when you when your body camera pops up, the date, time, the, the day, the date, and the day, and the year will pop up every single time, guys. In the right-hand corner, I believe it is your camera. Uh, so, is there something else here we need to look at? I don't think there is. Oh, your custom number right This is your custom number. So, of course, I am going to set mine to... I'm going to set mine. I'll show you guys how I do mine. One... I'm going to do it in all caps. One... Adam, and I'll go 07, okay? One Adam, 07. So that will give me plenty of numbers across there. It's even less numbers than what it was, so it will work. Once you're done making your changes, guys, click File, click Save, if it will do it. Click File, click Save, and then close out of it. <clears throat> We're going to go back to the main directory again, of course. Refresh it. And then next up, stop the pad. Let's pull that up. Double click on stop the pad. You're going to grab. Now, this time, guys, we are going to grab the plugins and the Rage Dandy View UI. Okay, by holding down your control key, highlight your plugins, hold down your control key, highlight Rage Dandy View UI, because this is more updated than the one we have in there. The one we have in here is from like 2016, 2017, something like that. We can see here real quick what it is. Uh, if you go down here, Rage Dandy View UI, right here, it is a 2017, so really old. So you want the 2018, the more updated. So you're going to grab both of these right here, your plugins, your Resident Evil UI, pull it into your main directory just like that. Drop it. It's going to ask you to replace it. Go ahead and replace it. Okay, guys. Let's close out of that and get rid of the shortcut. Let's go back over to our main directory. Go to plugins, LSPDFR, and go down to stop the pad. All right, the configuration setting. Now let's pull this up real big. Uh, this is going to be very important that we go over this, guys. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff to go over. So everything up in this area, guys, you can leave the same. Just leave it the way it is. But right down here where I'm at in the search key, you're going to want to change this F10 to F9 just like that, okay? And also your police transport right here, guys, right where I'm at right here, change that 8 to a 9, okay? Trust me, guys, your mods will never clash if you follow what I'm doing, okay? Next up, I'm just going to try to scan through this real quick. Real quick, main main button of the controller. I tap it twice. We're gonna leave that the same. Now, right here on controller users, right here with the controller button, you're gonna highlight that A right there and type in the word num with a capital N O N E, just like that, okay? And then go ahead and highlight that word none and hit Control C because we're gonna use that a few times. Go down to the very next one right below that and hit Control V. V is in Victor. That will put the word none. You don't want anything on your controller, guys. Hardly anything at all. Controller button to use with gunpoint to make a pet pursuit target. Leave that the same, guys. Don't change that. Shortcut button to quick grab the pad. Uh, let's go ahead and change that to none. Control V. Highlight that. Control V. Uh, button to tackle the player is chasing pursuit pet, okay? Now change this B to a capital X for controller users, okay? For controller users. Change the next one down right here where I'm at. Change that Y. If I can get it just right. Change that Y to a capital A because it's going to give you a sprint boost. And your boost is already on A. Your sprint's already on A. So trust me with this, guys. You'll never lose a, sus a suspect doing it like this. All right. Let's scroll on down. And there is quite a bit to go over in this INI file. Uh, let me scroll on down until I find exactly what I'm looking for because... Uh, I think it's in this one. I'm pretty sure it is. Because there's a thing in here for your weapons. And if you don't set it a certain way every time you load your weapons up in game, it will make your weapons disappear after a few seconds. Right here, realistic weapon system, guys. Very important that you set this right here. This is where I'm at right here. It says, set whether you want to turn the realistic weapon system on startup. You're going to put this to no. Okay? 
Because if you leave it at yes, every time you go in a game and you load up your weapons manually through your simple trainer, after a few seconds, all your weapons are going to disappear. Okay? So, just trust me on that, guys. Let's scroll on down. I think that's going to be it. I mean, you can leave it set to yes, whatever, you know, guys. That's completely up to you, but I always set it to no just because of that. That's kind of annoying to me, you know, that the, my weapons disappear, and I just don't like that. Uh, siren light sound setting for prison transport. Okay, so prison transport, transport siren light arrives. So you can have the, this siren light just means the lights will be on, okay? Um, and then siren light depart, uh, for siren light, siren light, which means just lights. You, we're going to set that to yes, because I like the lights to be on when they leave. Now, siren light sound. Uh, you can leave both of those to no or change one or the other to the yes or whichever one you want to do. I leave mine instead of no because I don't like the I don't like the siren siren on when they're coming in. It's just kind of annoying. There's already enough stuff going on the way it is, and I don't like the sirens on. All right, and then I think everything else looks good. Let me scroll down and double check here, guys. Uh, let me just double check. I'm gonna scroll through here real quick. I'm pretty sure that is it. Looks like it is. Yeah. So once we're done, guys, go ahead and click file and click save of course close out of that let's go back to the main directory okay and <clears throat> well we would probably still stay where we were all right guys so here's what i want you to do go back to your main directory navigate to plugins and lspfr and go right inside stop the pad folder right here open that up okay and then open up your ultimate questions right here in your winrar you're going to double click on ultimate q a plugins lspfr Stop the pad. Now, if you look here, you have a traffic stop questions over here and custom questions. You also have custom questions and traffic stop questions over here. These two are just going to replace the two in the main directory, which makes it more realistic. Okay, so grab these two files right here. Pull them into your, you should be in GTA 5 plugins, LSPFR, stop the pad folder, okay? Pull them over here, drag them and drop them, and you want to replace the two files with the same names, okay? Go ahead and replace them. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We are done with the installation part. Let's go back, refresh it, close out, close out of this, get rid of that shortcut, and then we can launch the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we're inside the game, I'm going to show you guys the, the uh, most simple thing, of course, first. Uh, which you normally want to do this in first person, so I'm going to go into first person. And to activate your body cam, you're going to go to your numpad. Make sure your num lock is on. If not, it won't work. Hit your number zero on your, num on your numpad. And there's your body cam, ladies and gentlemen. Now, remember, we put in the date and the time. So there you go. It's uh, June 6th. I mean, I'm sorry, June 11th of 2020. And uh, there's my number I put in, 1Adam07. So there you go, guys. There's the body cam. And, of course, you just hit zero and turn it back off. All right, and now we're gonna get back. Uh, gonna get back. That is messed up. Get back in the car, and you'll hear the better dispatch audio as we get calls. Uh, let me see if I can get one here real quick. Attention, unit one, Adam seven. We have a traffic alert for a kidnapping. There you go, guys. Hear that beeping? That's your better dispatch audio. There's also a lot of other features that come with it. Uh, and then, of course, next up. Next up is going to be, let me turn my calls off real quick again, guys. Next up is going to be L ALPR Lite, guys. So remember, we changed that from F8 to F7, so hit your F7 on your keyboard. This is going to activate your ALPR Lite. Now, what this does is when people drive by you, it reads their tags, telling you if they're wanted, if they, if they have an expired registration, expired license, um, you know, that sort of thing. So... And once it tracks somebody and reads their tag, and they have a red flag on them, in other words, a 1099, uh, then it will they will pop up as a red, I mean, sorry, not a red blip, but a yellow blip on your map. So we'll just ride around here and try to get it to work as we're cruising. Best place to do this is probably on the interstate. All right, there goes one right there. Outstanding warrant. And that would be, Jesus Christ. Alright, so that would be this car sitting right over here. It's going to be the, however you say that, Carbon is or whatever it is, Torino Red. So it's going to be your Torino Red car right here. This is going to be your guy right here. 
All right, so at this point you would pull him over. So hit F7 to deactivate your LPLI. And then we're gonna use stop the pad, guys. And there's a few different ways you can use this. Um, must, one of the most effective ways that we use it in LSBFR is when we put someone into arrest mode. But I'm gonna show you both ways, okay? We're gonna stop right here. I'm gonna show you the, all the ultimate questions and all that too. So you would just simply walk up to somebody and on keyboard you would tap the E twice, on controller you would tap right on the D-pad twice. Just like Hold so. Up. Let's say that. It brings up your menu right there. You can either hit E to bring that up or D-pad right. And then you can ask for ID, request pad for dispatch. Got all your options here. If you go into question the pad, this is all of your uh, questioning stuff right here. So down here in the blue area and below is all of your extra questions that's been installed into the game, guys. So it's got endless amounts of, um, just endless amounts of, of role play stuff, guys. It's so awesome. So search questions, you would say, uh, excuse me, ma'am, do you consent to a search for you on your person? And they would say, I'm not sure if I really have a choice here. If I do, no. Uh, okay, and you can say stuff like, anything that's going to poke me or stick me, jab me or stab me, as I say. You know, and you know, and then when you, if you want to let him go, of course you go back to your menu, and you would go down, you can request a taxi for her, an Uber. Now this is somebody that's not in arrest mode, okay? Or an ambulance, okay? Uh, you can also dismiss the pet on foot or to the driver's seat of a vehicle if they're driving one. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. You can call an Uber for him. Actually, we'll get her a taxi. All right. So we're going to call a taxi for her. Bring me a taxi down here in Burton, Metro Los Santos. And then uh, the taxi will come up in a green blip. I believe the Uber does too. And then there's there's her taxi coming up right there. But there's all kinds of options to stop the pad. And there she goes. All right. Now, the second way to use stop the pad, and there's a couple different things we're going to do here is when you put someone into arrest mode, you're gonna pull a gun out. You're gonna point the gun at the person, and again, you're gonna hit E on the keyboard twice, or right on the D-pad twice. Stupid. Just like this. They're gonna go into arrest mode and get on their knees with their hands behind their head, just like that. Okay? And you're gonna walk up to them. It's gonna give you an option to arrest the pad. All right, you'd pull up your menu, click arrest the pad. Shithead. There you go, guys, and that is it. At this point, you can pull the menu back up. It gives you the option to grab the pad or have the pad follow you. Request pad, check the dispatch. So we're going to do that. And there's your better dispatch audio again. All right, gives you a check on him, so he's valid. Has no arrest warrant or nothing like that. Uh, pull your menu back up. You can make them kneel down, question them, pat them down, breathalyze them, drug, drug swab them, uh, call for transport, call an ambulance. Hello? See, when they're arrested, you can call for transport or ambulance. When they're not in arrest mode, you can call for an ambulance, an Uber, or a taxi. Uh, you can release them and let them go. You can release them and make them stay. So at this point, we're going to pat them down. You got anything going to poke me, stick me, jab me, or stab me? All right, so we're going to pat him down, and this will tell you uh, after you get done searching him, You'll hear a little, like, bell tone, and then a window will pop up and tell you what he's got on him. Let's search him. It's pretty realistic, guys. We're getting the more realistic stuff. So he's got a smartphone, a bag of meth, and a plane ticket. So at this point, you would want him arrested. So we're going to go ahead and pull our menu back up. And you can uh, you can either put, you can either hit, click here for transport, or push 9 on your keyboard for transport like this. Just pass me some 1016 in uh, Burton. Burton. All right, and then... Transport pops up as a blue dot, I believe. Yeah, there they are right there. Now, if they take too long getting here, you can always hold down your backspace like this, and it will spawn them. It should spawn them right in. But I think he's already here. Yeah, he's he's too close to spawn in. So I'm just gonna grab him here real quick, and we're gonna take. And he's, this traffic is stupid. We're gonna take him here over here a little closer, so he ain't gotta walk as far. And then once you're done, you pull up the menu again, release him, whoa, 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 and that's it. Up, man. Did you say skinny whoa. Eddie or thin Eddie? And there is your transport. And that is oh, pretty man. much it. Stop the pedals. There's, there's probably one more thing I need to show you guys. So, uh, just for example, we're going to go over here to this car right here. Uh, you do have an inter actual interaction menu you can use on the street. So, we're going to light this car up right here. Dude, thanks for hitting my door, broski. Get out of here. St 
stupid. Anyway, we're going to walk up this car right here, guys. When you walk up the side of it, you can hit G on your keyboard. This is going to bring up your stop the peg context menu, okay? So, at this point, you can request vehicle check, search the vehicle, request tow service, call vehicle insurance, etc., etc., okay? You can also stop traffic. Okay, traffic will stop. And then you can pull this back up to clear your traffic control. Now, in this case scenario, we're going we're gonna to search the vehicle. You would search the vehicle and it opens up the doors, the hood, the trunk, and all that good stuff. And there's an empty bag of with black powder residue, which is perfect. I'm going to show you guys how to test that. An empty baggie with a black powder residue, okay? And nothing else really of interest. So, so what we're going to do is at this point, once you find that kind of stuff, you're going to go to the back of your police car like this, <clears throat> okay? Oh my God. You're going to go to the back of your police car. You're going to hit the G key again. You're going to go down to evidence check narcotics field test, okay? And click on that. He's going to open his trunk. It's going to automatically pull up your empty bag with black powder residue or whatever you found on the person. You're going to click on that. That's going to give you options to pick from different tests, okay? Now, sometimes certain tests will be highlighted. Sometimes they won't, okay? Like this one, these two right here, you cannot use. See that? Can't use them. <clears throat> so, with a black powder residue, I'm going to almost say probably heroin because they have a black tire heroin going around out there. So, let's, let's test for heroin because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If I'm not, then, you know, that's what it is. It's heroin. So at that point, you're done. You find out what you need to know, and that's it, guys. Uh, so let's just say, for instance, if somebody's knocked out. All right, we're going to go ahead and beat this dude down real quick, because I'm going to show you guys how to. There's another feature to start the panel I need to show you. I hate to beat that guy. <laughs> this is the only way I can show you. All right, so if somebody is down like that, you can actually walk up to them, press the G on your keyboard. It gives you the option to search the body, drag the body, tend to injured pad, request corner unit, request animal control, etc., etc. We are actually going to drag the body, okay? Just like that. If you use a controller, you would use your left thumbstick to drag the body. If you're using a keyboard, you would use your W, S, um, F. I mean, yeah, W, S, D, and A keys to drag the bed. I'm trying to get him like over here where I can lay him down. Now, once you, once you lay him down, you pull down the on the left thumbstick or hit the S on your controller, I mean, on your uh, keyboard, I believe, and he'll just lay him down like that. All right. And then for another example, guys, we're going to pull that context menu up again, and he just slid all the way down on me. Oh, my goodness gracious, Jesus. Okay, well, he's still right there. Hit the G key again. We're now going to search the body. All right. So I just like to showcase kind of every little thing for you guys and... The other stuff is kind of self-explanatory. And it'll, it'll tell you what, what you found. So we found unmarked pills and pepper spray. At this point, guys, you take those unmarked pills, go to the back of your car, hit the G key, and do your fields region test again, okay? Uh, I think that was pretty much it. And now we're going to uh, tend to injured ped. And I've never really used this feature, but we're going to see what he does. So I think he just kind of checks him and make, see if he's got a pulse or anything. I think it's kind of what the role play thing is all about here. All right, so it looks like the pad is going to make it. He's alive. He's alive. All right, so at this point, you can uh, Hold up. get him up, which you would press E twice on the keyboard again or D-pad or D right, and he's under narcotic intoxication, so which means he was probably, uh, you know, in this situation, if he was down by himself, he was probably overdosed, but we knocked him out. So at this point, you can get him to sit on the ground, but we are going to call for an ambulance for this guy. Dispatch, send me 1141 in Burton. Ambulance. Assistance required in Burton. All right, and that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, we're actually going to take him over here. We're going to grab him because he is intoxicated. Not going to cuff him, but we are going to take him over here. Now, yeah, he's pretty intoxicated. He's not looking too good. There's our ambulance. And you release the pad just like that by pulling the menu. Man, I hope you get fixed up, man. You, you're not looking too pretty. All right. And I think I that's pretty much it for Stop the Peg, guys. Oh, there is one more thing, guys, I need to show you. So if you want to point out a target like as pursuit, if you want to point out a pet as a target pursuit, you take your gun out and point at the at the pad and push T on the keyboard or up on the D-pad. Maybe click it a couple times to get it to work. See that? All right, so now we're going to chase him. 
me get my taser out because I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the poor guy. He didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> All right. Are located oh, in pursuit. Just barely missed him. All right, now see how my sprint is going really fast, guys. Something you can tackle him with the X like this, just like that, tackle him. All right. Don't move. Don't move. And the way I just did that, guys, to get him to stop was press uh, E on the keyboard twice or right on the D-pad twice. That's how it works. And then you would rest it. All right. Just like that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in to my video and my tutorial. Um, like I said, guys, I have a link in the description that's right above the links that you need for this video that says join my Discord for LSPFR support. Uh, my support team will be more than happy to help you out, guys, because... Honestly, guys, getting to the point to where, you know, I can't help each and every one of you when you tell me your problem on, on YouTube. I don't mind I don't mind seeing those comments, and I don't mind associating with you guys, but as far as, like, solving each and every one of y'all's problems, it's getting hard for me to do. So that's why I do have a Discord team in my Discord. But, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in today. I do appreciate the love and support. Uh, we are surpassed 10,300 subs, guys. We are getting very close to our 10.5K goal. I'm going to let this guy go because he wasn't doing nothing wrong. Sorry about that, man. Uh, I'm showcasing my my right, stuff here for my now. audience. You're on YouTube, Come man. Smile. Man, All right, guys. So I do appreciate the love and support, as always. And uh, guys, make sure that you uh, uh, stay tuned in on my videos. Uh, I will be doing these videos. I'm doing a new, uh, you know, I've started the new playlist, the Epic Game uh, GTA LSPFR Tutorials. So where's my car at? Is it back here? Yes, yeah, right back here. Shout out, man. And, uh, guys, there's a playlist for that. It's called Epic Games LSPFR Tutorials. So, uh, I will leave the link for the description for that in the description below, guys and girls. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.